All right, uh, we're gonna go again. Uh, he's just um, he's working on his sideboard. Um, I don't know if he mentioned he was gonna work on his sideboard for a deck. I don't know if it's the same deck. Uh, so let's see if I can have a better showing against whatever he brings. I'm just gonna, I only have RB built for standard. Um, I did cut a land though. Um, I was just thinking about it a little bit more and I think uh, playing uh, 20 lands in the deck is probably a little excessive. So I cut it down to 19. Let's see if I get land screwed this game. But this is a really good start. You start with three damage, got both my colors. Got um, a sack spell. Let's see, sorry. Uh, so he's playing a different deck. Uh, so he's playing Jund. Jund, 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 Jund. Alright, so let's see if he has this kill spell for my runner. Um, one of the things that makes standard slightly different is um, there's no um, one mana deal three damage spells. There is the Voltage Surge, um, um, but uh, so there's less cards that um, can kill the um, just three toughness in general, like this. All right, all right. Where do I want to go from here? Um. I think I need to stay aggro, um, so I think I, oh, and I didn't realize he missed. That's unfortunate for him. Um, and one benefit of going uh, with this route of the Bard Batter Fist is I can hold up Rotten and Union. Um, and um, potentially interrupt, he's a graveyard strategy deck, so let's see if he, Tries to dig in the graveyard. Yeah, so three toughness, a little bit of an issue. Um, do I think playing Rotten Reunion right now is relevant? No, I don't think so. I think I'd rather save it. All right. Um, so let's synthesizer first, see what we draw. See if it changes our plan. Uh, that does. Alright, I mean, I guess I can just let him see which one he wants to trade with. It's 3 3 or it's 2 3, or if he just wants to let it through. That's fine with me. Let's kill that. Let's kill that. Before he has mana to protect it. And then hopefully this turn I can uh, interrupt him trying to bring both of those cards back. Or a card with flashback. I'll probably just exile that one. Uh, do I have any things that are going to be able to kill that? Yeah, I do. I have my voltage surge. So let's uh, get rid of this. Even though he probably has the uh, return two permanence. I think I just need to get my aggro on here. Um, start with this. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I can I can't play both. Uh, that's unfortunate. I, I mean, I thought about how I was tapping and, um, yep, just did not. Uh, it. So, just getting in one point of damage. It's actually two points because I'm going to equip up my batter fist. I think that's worth it. Uh, and it's already it's already face up on board, so I think I just go ahead and use it use it. And given that I have the Reckoner's Barking, even though this uh, can come back for free, well not for free, for mana, but no, no card disadvantage. I think I uh, just keep back with my zombie. <laughs> All right. Do I kill his three three with my stuff, with my lightning strike? Um, taking three damage a turn. 
Okay, so I think I just need more information, so let's attack first. Um, I still want to uh, attack with this. Uh, okay, so I can sack this, keeping up my... That. Submit. Um, and then, then drawing experimental uh, synthesizer, I, I think I just want this game to go a little bit longer. Okay, so let's uh, resolve this. I don't know why it gets stuck like that. Um, so it seems weird, but I think I will... Um, man, but it's, it is three damage. Just to this face. So do I commit to taking three damage a turn? Um, I don't think I do. Let's see if... Um, card. Um, it may be a situation where I want my final black, my final swamp. Uh, with synthesizer in hand, I think I will be able to play all my my stuff. This is kind of good um, for playing defense. Alright, I think this turn, um, I start with this synthesizer to get a 2-2 into play. And then I just play whatever I draw off of it. Nice. Let's get another batter fist into play. Yeah, now I can get my other swamp. And then my batter fist. Just uses my mana slightly more efficiently. Um, I could have keep a Rick and Raid and then and then equipped up my uh, my token. Yep. And so this is this this is good for me. Just trading back and forth spells. Um, I mean, he has he has a late game thing, so we need, trading is okay. But then I eventually need to end the game. And a little bit of a time crunch, but uh, I think him milling those two at the beginning of the game is going to help me a lot too. All right, and then having a rotten union to interrupt his um, bringing back creatures. Um, do I? Do I hold up Rotten Reunion right now? Oh, I, I should have been playing the Synthesizer. I don't know why I just didn't catch that. Um, sure, I'll just pay the, the Revenant right now. Uh, so I should get Shields Gown for, for this turn, which is unfortunate. Uh, okay, that's fine. So let's see, has he milled any more since the first two Uborks? Yeah, so not milled anymore. All right, um, I don't need two batter fists. Although I, I'd rather keep the annihilating glare for a future turn. So I'll just lightning strike it. But let's uh, get another two two. I should have got this last turn. It's my bad. So I've been attacking for one more. All right, let's uh, let's start by lightning striking. Uh, Oh, no, 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 let's not use my red. No, I mean, I want to use my red, I don't want to use my black. Because I want to play my Akiba Reckoner raid and want to have Rotten Reunion up for, for playing that. Uh, oh, wait, I'm not going to have my Reckoner raid up. Eh, for one, for one damage, um, I don't think it's worth it. I think... Um, I, I'm in a lot more trouble if he brings back something this turn. So I think um, sacrificing one mana just to potentially delay him one more turn. So I don't know how... Uh, okay, cool. Alright. Pass. So I think I exile that one. It's good enough of a spell. Alright. 
Alright. Okay. So I just pay the mana for this. Pay four. Alright. Well, I'm surprised. Alright. Let us play. So more graveyard heat. Seems good. Uh, this is a graveyard heat, but his creatures are have generally a toughness of three, so I don't think that's gonna be in my interest. Um this just kills his big creatures. Uh, voltage Surge. He does have a four toughness creature. And then the Flame Blast Bolt, I think I do dump. Um, so he has the Exile spells. Um, so I have to have Reckoner's Raid for this to not just get exiled. So I think I just decreased to one of those. <laughs> it's not the best of my cards. And yeah. I think I'd do it this way where I actually I think this card is probably one of my worst. Now do I have enough creatures to end the game? If I just like keep trading and stuff. I think I still will be able to end the game without the flame breather. Um But all of his creatures draw cards too. So I don't know if I want to be playing this game where I try to remove his creatures. Um, maybe I'm overboarding for removal. Okay, let's, uh, let's put in some of these. Do I even care about Rotten Reunion? All right, let's go down to one. Uh, Oh gosh, it didn't save my sideboarding. It shows my inexperience with the format. So what I was about to do there was I was about to cut my sack spell. So I think what happens is it just goes defaults you to your um, your main board. Yeah, I only have 60 cards in my deck. So um, yeah, so the only thing I would change really would be cutting, uh, playing more three damage burn spells, cutting the... Um, the stuff that only deals two damage and cutting my sack spells because I don't think my sack spells are actually where I want to be this this game. But um, there's always game three to board correctly. I do want more rotten reunions. Wow, drying, drying it. <laughs> That's a uh, funny clinky dink. The one of main deck. Let's go ahead and get a, a a swamp for that. Even though I'm probably not gonna play it for several turns. This turn I may be able to get in with the Goblin Blast Runner. Yeah, because he might not want to trade with his Jewel Thief. Uh, um, let's see. So I think I'm cracking in, and then if he double blocks, I think I'd go for a kill on the Jewel Thief. Um, So he does not take that trade. So then do I Flame Breather or Batter Fist? I think I Batter Fist. Oh, I just realized his Blanchwood uh, Prowler is going to pose an issue. 
But potentially this keeps his jewel thief from attacking. If he does attack with it though, I, I would be pretty concerned about a protection spell. Um, but the way my hand is, I think I just accept that trade. I'll trade my token for a protection spell. So if he offers it, I will block the jewel thief. And then just try to get out whatever he has in his hand. With only one lightning strike, it's difficult. Um, if I had another a three damage removal spell that I could potentially you know, double answer and then blow out a protection spell, that could be re reasonable, but without it, I don't think there's a reason. I didn't realize he was stuck on red too. Yeah, this is all fine with me. All right, so he doesn't have, um, hmm, kind of need uh, lands, uh, but this jewel thief kind of has to go. I think I could take one turn off to try to draw land in my top two. Uh, let's see, what does he have in his graveyard? Uh, he has a Vorak, and, but no other permanents, so he wouldn't he wouldn't be flashing it back this turn. So I think I tap out of my red and just try to draw another red, and then um, or this. Um, I think that's reasonable. Let's just do that right now. So this is one nice thing again that the fact that they give you extra permanents just in play is nice. So next turn I'll Synthesizer and then I'll play whatever I get off of it. And yeah, it always feels bad to do this, but I, I, I can't play this one first because if I don't draw a land, then um, I would feel silly. And then instead, because I did draw a land, I do feel silly. All right, so I think I Except a, an attack from a from an eccentric eccentric farmer to be able to get my flame breather down. Um, okay, so these guys are scary because uh, I think he has ways to recur them. Well, I, I mean, no, he has ways to recur them, but I guess. Um,
I missed one damage there. I should have equipped up the uh, batter fist. Um, that was an unfortunate blunder because this game is going to end up being pretty close. Now, do I want to equip it now that I have the choice? Uh, no. Uh, because I think I might want to block with this creature. I'm crashing in. This is not a good sign. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's, he's five. Um, yeah, so no blocks. Uh, you just gotta hope to crash back and kill him. Unfortunate. Uh, so who do I want to crash with? I think I crash with my Vigilance guy. See if he wants to trade, or do I just crash with everything? Uh, I can get him down to nine, uh, and then I have one Vigilance guy to block with. Don't think that's a winning line. No. Um, potentially next turn it is though, because then my road captain won't have a summoning sickness. All right, I think I just go with this attack. Uh, see if he wants to trade. I think this is a fine trade. If he takes it or he doesn't take it. It's interesting. So I do have an extra mana. Um, he knows about this. Um, I guess I'll I'll just move this over to a creature that I care a little bit less about. Turn. All right. So he crashes in. Ooh, this is good for me. Okay, so I just need to s stop him from winning. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I definitely should have done this pre-combat. Although I win if he if he plays that, so I don't need to exile that. Um, so uh, let's see, eight. So I'll go ahead. Oops, let's pass the blockers. Let's block that, and I need to block one more. Uh, my Vigilant Skies or my Goblin Blast Runner. Goblin Blast Runner probably win me the game. Uh, so I think I just do this. Uh, no, my Goblin Blast Runner only has one toughness guaranteed. I think I just do this. Or one power. Alright, let's see what he's got for me. He might be just attacking because he feels like he's going to lose the long game. Um, okay, so he gains three life. I don't think that's going to win him the game. Alright, well, this is good for me. Alright, so let's get rid of his Shadow Beast sighting. And what would be the other devastating card for him to play? I'm probably him bringing back Ardent Elementalist. Okay, so now I buff up my Menace creature. Ooh, this is a really good draw. So I, I would have been better off uh, keeping my Blast Runner in play uh, because um, he would have got Menace this turn. But I think I played it so um, I, I could have won it either way, but this just makes it that much more likely, okay? Um, I think I go for this sack rather than that sack. Uh, because I can use my, yeah. There we go. All right. So now I just equip up this 
and attack in. I think I win. Uh, let's see, if he has a kill spell, let's see, I have one, two, three, four. Um, so he has to kill. I guess I want him to have to kill these guys. Sure. He probably has to kill my captain. Okay, so let's attack with everything. See what Tricky has. I can win, win on. I can still survive on the backswing. So um, um, let's see what else he's got. I mean, PC sees this card, so we gotta just wait for damage. Maybe he's gonna try to bring it back and gain life. Oh, he has the sack it for four. Yep. Uh, so if I if I would have killed it pre combat, um, let's see. All right. So let's, uh, let's let's put a stop after damage. Okay, let's make it control, I guess. Control, control, control. Oh, yeah, I still have him dead. Oh. Just couldn't do the math. I thought I thought he gained enough life to uh, survive. All right, well. GG's.